So hello everybody, how are you today? My name is Ruth Basolo from Kerbal.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can read the tabs in a Power BI file two ways. Two ways. So the first one is the official one, the second one is the unofficial and you need that in case that you want to have more control. I'm going to show you. Okay, so here I have the Google Analytics template app that I've created for you, free to download down below. And if you would like to show these on a screen on your office and have the tabs rotate at a certain intervals, then there are two ways to do it. The first way is you go here, you go to the Microsoft Store. Now, if you don't have access to the Microsoft Store, then this won't work. You have to go to option two right away. But otherwise, you can go here, you go and search Power BI. And you're going to find two apps for Power BI. One is Power BI Desktop. It's the one that updates automatically every month. The other one is just says Power BI, but this is Power BI for mobile. And uh, I already have installed it, so I'm just going to click Launch. This is uh, allows you to view Power BI on a mobile app, basically. Not, not the mobile app that you would uh, install in here. It's just another mobile app on the desktop. So. Here we go. I've already, you will have to log in the first time. And then this is the Google Analytics app. I'm going to click on it. Now we are inside the Power BI mobile app. And you need to put it in full screen. And then you see here that there is a play button. So if you click play button, it will go through all the tabs at a specified interval of time. You can change that. I'm going to show you. So as you can see, I'm not changing, I'm not doing anything and it is rotating by itself. Okay. Which is super cool. Now, how do you change the interval? Let's pause this, minimize it so we can see the app. And then we go here to options and then you see slide show transition frequency five seconds. So you, I just set it five seconds so you could actually see it rotate, but you can put it 30 seconds, one minute, whatever you want. Now, the problem with this is that it does not allow you to give different timings to different apps. And when I used this last week, I needed that. I, w I had a presentation tab and I didn't want to have that all the time, you know, a long time. I want to have like 30 seconds on the first one and then 60 seconds on every one. You can't do it here. So how do you do it? Very, very easy. This trick, first of all, comes from Casper on BI, Casper the Young. He works at the Microsoft team. I think he's at the customer team, cat team. And he shared that tip with us. And it says there is an extension called tab rotate. Here's a link. I'm going to post a link down below to his blog. So you can just go there and download. And here it says tab rotate options. I already have it installed, but you just search for it and then um, click install and then you will tab rotate. You just use Casper's link basically and install the extension. And once you install it, you go in here and you right click. Okay. And it will give you options. So first you click so you can edit this thing. And then you have to go and grab the URL of the tabs that you wanted to rotate. Okay. So if we go in here, put it in there, and then you have to add question mark Chrome, Chrome less because that will remove the URL from um, Chrome. So you just see Power BI. You don't see any other element of Chrome or anything else. So you just get there, you copy that, you go into tab rotate options and you just paste it. This is as easy as that. So you go there, paste that thing and you say, oh, I want duration of five seconds. And then you go to the next in there tab, and then you go do exactly the same thing. You have to add the Chromeless part. I don't know if case sensitivity is an issue or not, but why, why chance it, right? So you go in there, you go to there, you go in here,
paste it. You say five seconds also. And then let's remove the other one. We don't want that. We just want to rotate between two. You click save and then you just click in here. It will remove everything else. And then it will start rotating between this tab and that tab. Cool, right? And then you can just press F11 to remove everything, everything, everything else, right? Uh, I have to do it like that. You see? So uh, for Chrome to remove everything else, you, you click F11. And then you'll see that this thing goes one and the other one, one and the other one. Now it goes so fast that, but, but you see, right? So this is a cool trick in case you want to rotate tabs in Power BI. Hopefully this is a cool trick for you. Let me know if you use it. And um, that's all for today. That's all for today. I will see you again on Friday with another DAX Fridays. And until then, as always, take care and bye-bye.